What's up guys, thank you for clicking on my video. I'm Casual Gamer 8 and today we have Illudian Chronicle Rising. So for the people who played Sir Coden, they probably know what this is. This is a prelude to the main game, 100 Heroes. This game is a action side scroller. Um, it probably doesn't has have as much budget as the main the main game, but this serves as a backstory or background information before the main game happens. So let's get started. All right, let's go into options first. Game setting English music. Yeah, yeah. Normal mode. What's this? Action settings. We can have simple mode or normal mode. Let's stick with normal mode first. Controls. Okay, so we have three characters. CJ, Garou and Isha. So squares for CJ, triangles for Garou, circles for Isha. X is jump, R2 is unique skill, R1 is interact. Very, uh, very simplistic. I wonder what simple mode is. Let's check out simple mode actually. Attack, swap character, jump, unique skill. Oh, about the same really. It's just, it's just that you don't swap out characters with the with the buttons. You have one designated button to swap out. Okay, let's start. What's comfort save data? Ah, oh, okay. We're playing on the PS5, by the way. Let's go. Lovely graphics. I do like the background, the drawing of the background. 2.5D. Hmm. Been walking for a while now. Alright, so she is CJ. CJ, a young girl descended from generations of scavengers. She has come to New Nevan to complete her family's rite of passage. Room burrows discovered. Wealth beyond your wildest dreams await you in Nuna Barn. All adventurers welcome. Based on what I heard at Enyase, it shouldn't be too far now. Unless I'm lost. Stop! stop. You. Help me up, Weir. What have we got here? Bees? Bandits! They're all over the place lately. You look like you can handle it, handle yourself in a fight, though. What's that supposed to mean, huh? I'm a regular, everyday trader. You often go around judging folks on how they look. Well, sorry. Going after helpless traders now, are we? Clear out, little girl. <sighs> you don't even have the decency to deny it. Can't just watch a man's property get stolen, can I? Goes against my principles. Well, come on then, cowards. I'll take you for all your worth. Right, defeat the bandits. Let's see, combat basics, approach and attack incoming enemies. Although some fights can be avoided, occasionally enemies will block the path ahead. Always be ready for some action. So squares, attack, X to jump, R2 to, for unique skills. CJ's unique skills, CJ can transverse short distance at high speed. Quick step forward while in motion and backwards while stationary. Time your movement right and you can use this skill to evade enemy attacks. So she's got quick step then. That was the unique skill. This is the unique skill. Oh crap. X is jumping. Ouch! There is no block in this. Ah, 
Hmm. Ugh, retreat. So the controls seem a bit stiff to me. It seems like like there's a little bit of a slight delay when you press the button. Not bad at all. Better than I expected from a young one. Hogan's the name. You really saved my skin. I owe you one. Hogan, never one to miss a trend. Hogan was quick to notice a sudden influx of adventurers to New Navan, and even quicker to set up the shop at the town's all fries trading post. So the main story is, is like there's some ruins that have been recently discovered, but there's earthquakes I think, and this town in New Navan is kind of destroyed. So you've got to build it back up as well. So there's a building simulation to, to this game. CJ, honourable scavenger, at your service. Honourable scavenger? How does that work? Well, scavenging is just treasure hunting, isn't it? Only difference between that and thieving is whether your mark is living or dead. Bees think too highly of themselves though. That's what my clan says anyway. So scavenger suits you better, huh? You're journeying to Nuna Van for treasure then, I take it. Sure am. What about you? Just left, picked up some picked up some trinkets and came out here to sell them off. What about lenses? Do they have lenses? Yep, plenty of them too. I haven't heard I haven't heard of some lucky souls finding ruined lenses down in the burrows. Yes! Gotta get down gotta get down there now. That humongous lens is as good as mine. Which way to the town? Now what kind of gentleman would I be if I didn't take you there myself? The least I can do after all. Right, seems like we've reached the town. Oh, stop! Back again already, Hogan. Wait, where are your escorts? Bolted at the first sight of bandits. Paid good money for them too. Bandits again. A tougher bunch than last time. Someone ought to do ought to do something soon. Look, we're just here to guard the checkpoint, alright? If you've got a complaint, take it up with the acting mayor. Yeah, yeah. And who's this little lady? Her name's CJ. Well, I hope in the hundred heroes they have better names than just abbreviations. CJ AP because Sakodan, they had really good names, and I remember uh, I played Sakodan one and two. Didn't get to play the rest, the three D ones, but two was really good. I remember. Choose the what was it? Honourable scavenger here to accept the accept acting mayor's generous invitation, and she's more reliable than you lay about. That's for sure. Another reckless adventurer willing to risk their lives and a child at that. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. There's not a single member of my clan who's got their head screwed on. Reckless fools every one of them. Fair enough. Acting male suddenly will be glad to hear that. Proceed. So the graphics don't look too bad. I mean the background looks amazing. The the characters, they're very diverse. They look they look quite nice. They look hand drawn to be honest. Back so soon, I'm quite sure what you leave just a little while ago. You won't believe what happened, Squash. My word. Well at least you are unscathed. Thanks to this young lady no less, Madam CJ was it? Gosh, all rise appraiser, a pleasure to meet you. Let's see, so this bird guy, pigeon, budgie, bird guy, a concierge of all that shimmers. Of course, the birds like those glittering stuff. The 
the promise of a glimmering future drew Squash to Nudinavan to open his accessory shop. His discerning eye quickly earned him the role of the town's Ulfrey's appraiser. Ulfrey's appraiser? Indeed, it is my duty to appraise the artifacts excavated from the barrows. What for? Why, to determine their value, of course. All artifacts found in the burrows are subject to an explorer tax of 30%. Well, that's a big tax. 30%? You haven't heard the worst of it yet. If you want into the room burrows, you're going to need an explorer's license from the acting mayor. Oh, I hope there's not a lot of fetch quests in this, you know. Like, they'll say you need to get the license. Do quest 1, quest 2, quest 3, then you get the license. And that license don't come cheap. Ain't it? Ain't that right, Squash? I'm afraid so. This mirror sounds proper... What? What's the word? What's that word? Rapturous, if you ask me. Yep, rapturous is the word. Quite. Well... What's to stop me sneaking out the other side of the ruin anyway? Oh, I wouldn't recommend that. You get caught trying to hightail it out of here with a bag full of loot, well, you won't get very far. Mayors hide an unsalvory from the East Reach to put a stop to any thieving that might occur, so I've heard, at least. I've seen a many a crook dealt with in my day, but that mercenary is unnerving. I'm quite sure his presence is the only thing keeping those bandits from darkening our door. Uh, how about we go see the mayor for ourselves, eh? Even a rapturous old soul can be reasoned with our fool. Sounds like a plan? Lead the way. Right this way. The town is just ahead. Well then, perhaps the next time we meet, you will have handful of treasures for me to appraise. Until then, farewell. They should have uh, put voice acting in this. I like how the lizard's like bowling it along. Like, oh yeah, I'm the man. I'm the man. Here it is. A flourishing new frontier in the grip of a gold rose. Welcome to Nunavan. Not much to look at, is it? Well, I did say flourishing, didn't I? Work in progress? Huh? Is this an earthquake? I can't stand earthquakes. You're fine. Wasn't even that big. Right. <laughs> anyway, earthquakes are pretty common here. Best be on your toes. Because it's found to an earthquake that we even found them burrows. Real big one there about three months ago. So that's what's happening. Well, I best be getting back. Got a store to run, after all, or I will eventually. Figured I'll make a buck or two setting up a trading post for adventurers to trade their wares. Moves you on by once I've opened up. Wait, where can I find that mayor you were talking about? Town office in the plaza. Suppose, where else? Thanks, Hogan. Stay out of trouble now. Fingers crossed, Missy. Fingers crossed. Bye. There he goes, bowling along again. Yeah, he's a, I'm the man. Now then, time to track down this money-grabbing mayor. From the main menu, you can check your current quest progress, as well as your stats and items. A mini-map showing your current location is also displayed on this screen. This bustling plaza is the beating heart of Nunavan, with town folk passing through it day and night. A town office sits at its centre, where the bulletin board can also be found, whenever CJ feels like helping the residents. Okay, that just tells me there's going to be fetch quests, like... Kill three mice, fetch a lettuce or something like that. Right, let's see. If I press on the touchpad, I can see... The plaza, 
at a town outskirts. What else is there? Tri triangle does nothing. X is jump. The jump animation is a bit... I don't know. It doesn't seem too correct. You can't move up and down. Can you talk to the townspeople? You can't talk to the townspeople either. Pressing all the other buttons as the, as the people walk past. Nothing. Nothing. So I believe once you completed this game and you start 100 heroes, some of the data transfers over. Okay, R1 to speak. Excuse me, any idea where a girl might find that Raptures at the mirror I've heard so much about? Raptures? How rude. Oh, lighten up. I just... Wait. It's not you, is it? I am Isha, the acting mayor of this town. Yes, I should very much like to know what, who considers ra rapturous. Right, so here we have Isha, having take a, taken over as acting mayor after her father went missing. Isha is responsible for the decision to open the croyer to adventurers, and for ta taxing them for their privilege. Uh, well, that's uh, Hogan and Squash. Then again, perhaps their taxes are due for an increase. What, what 50%? It's already at 30%. Sorry, guys. So, Raptors might have been a bit much. <laughs> From what I heard about the mail, I was expecting some old bogey. Not a um, charming young woman such as yourself. How old are you anyway? 16? What of it? <laughs> Typical JRPG citizen year olds. Not even like 19 or 22. Should have known. Same as me. I'm a CJ. Nice to meet you. An adventurer, I presume. Scavenger. We're scavengers. Never judge a book by, by its book. <laughs> Let me start again. Never judge a book by its boots. As they say, we welcome all sorts here. DJ, initials perhaps? Prefer to keep your real name secret? Is that it? Enough about me. Uh, license, that's right. I came here to get an explorer's license. An explorer license costs 100 bakwa. Not a penny less. Not a hundred. A hundred thousand. Hundred thousand? Are you mad, woman? Do I look like I got that on me? I'm sixteen. Give me the child's fee. Like the horse carriages in the city. Do you think me as a dull wit as a that? Even your horse carriages consider anyone older than twelve capable of paying full price. You know your horse carriages, I'll give you that. Fret not, we offer Simpson to the financially enfeebled. Take this stamp card, collect enough stamps, and I'll issue an explorer's license. A stamp card? What's this? Are we gonna get like do two do quests and get the third quest for, for free? New the residents of New Vervan post odd jobs on the bulletin board frequently. Complete a task and that resident will stamp your card for you. So I have to help out the town, is that it? In a nutshell, yes. Many were troubled considerably by the earthquake three months back. Help is in great demand and short supply. Piece of cake. Don't go anywhere because I'll be back for my license before you know it. Collect stamps in this card by helping the townsfolk with whatever they need. Essential for acquiring an explorer's license? No adventure in Nunavan can be without their stamp card. Right, okay. First day on the job. Oh, we've got our first main quest. At the top. I think that's a stamp card. R1 on the bulletin board. Nothing to see here. What's this little girl? Little girl? Hello, don't suppose you know of anyone who needs help around here? 
I sure do. Really? Who? Me? Oh. Look, I'd love to help you, but if it's not going to get my card stamped, I'll have to decline. Stamp? Like the one Mia Isha gave everyone? I've got one, look! Wow, even you kids have them. With this stamp, adventurers will perform any and all tasks required. So use and abuse them. <laughs> that's, what Mia, that's what Mia Isha said. Rapturous might have been right on the money after all. Are you an adventurer too? Yep, call me CJ. What's your name? Priya. So, will you help me, CJ? I certainly will. What can, what can I do for you t today, Priya? Find Yum Yum. Yum Yum ran away from home and hasn't come back. Can't be having that now, can we? Is Yum Yum your little sister? Brother? My... Uh, Should have known. Find a cat. First quest in JRPGs. Find a cat. Final mission. Defeat the god. She's white, fluffy and cute and cuddly. You want me to track down a cat? So much for treasures hun hunting, I suppose. She got startled by the quake earlier and jumped out the window. She's still little, so it's dangerous for her to go out there by herself. If she wanders outside the walls, she could be eaten by a monster. Oh, please help me find her. Oh, please help find her for me, CJ. Yum Yum is my most treasured friend. Treasure, do you say? Well, there's one thing I'm good at, it's finding treasure. I'll have Yum Yum back to you in no time. Oh, thank you. I'll be right here, okay? Right, let's find this Yum Yum cat. Oh, we've got another old woman quest. So, anyone with an explanation mark we can talk to? I'm guessing. Oh, this one. Girl. No, nope, we can't talk to her. She hasn't got an explanation mark. Hmm. An outlander. Save your breath. This used to be a quiet little village till you showed up. Nothing but a nuisance, the lot of you. What is that Isha lads thinking here? Eh? No respect for tradition. So I'm guessing she won't give me her quest unless I level up. Ah, aha, this girl's got an explanation mark now. Whoa, never seen an adventurer like you before. If you find anything good, don't go. Keep it full for yourself, yeah? That old bag might not see the benefit letting you adventurers in, but I do. Who should you keep calling old bag? Was it that old woman we just took spoke to? Mining is all we've got after all, especially now they sealed off the barrows. What else would a mining town be without mining, honestly? Isha might be a bit dark at times, but she's right about this. What do you mean? Greedy certainly, but daft. Now, I didn't mean nothing by it, she's just different from the rest of us. Alright. Oh, our first day on the job is to gather information. I thought it was to uh, find, find that cat. Here we go, now we're finding, getting information about the cat. You haven't seen a fluffy white cat being cute and cuddly around here, have you? I have! Priya's cat, right? Yum yum! Really? Where'd it go? I pulled its tail and ran it, and it ran off into the woods. How would you pull a cat, cat's tail? Why not? Nothing to do with an outlander like you anyway. Charming. She's only small, so she'd be gobbled up by monsters for sure. There are monsters all over the place since the mining started. There'll be no cats getting gobbled on my watch. I promise Priya I'll return her treasure. That's what I'm going to do. I appreciate the info, kid. Could have done without the ash attitude, though. Right, so we know where where the cat is. We can go to the town outskirts, to the Great Forest. There are, there are a variety of dungeons around the town, each rich with their own unique resources, ready for you to mine. Since the earthquake, monsters have been sighted in greater and greater numbers, so proceed with caution. Okay, our objectives are changed now. Find Yamim in the Great Forest. Let's take a look a little bit more around here. We can't... No, we can't, we can't even go up. It's just side-scrolling. 
Oh, okay then. That's it, invisible wall. Since I've only played the code in one and two, if you guys have played any more than that, let me know if I should play the rest. I think there's up to five or six. The Great Forest, that's where we need to go, but let's carry on exploring. Ah, oh, okay. Invisible walls. We're on we're on a linear path at the moment. The Great Forest. A large lush forest located just outside the border of Nunavan. While the areas rich with food, wood and stones, the monsters which have gathered there since the earthquake have made it a dangerous place to be. Aha, we have another adventurer. Ah, no idea, sorry. Signposts. Oh, okay. Signposts is to save. What's this glowing? Oh, they're flowers. Okay, we can attack it in, th in this area. Oh, crap. Did I just get that? Experience 40. Level 1. Level 1 Bushmaster. Right, get, kind of getting used to that. Oh, level up, level up. Can we... Can we check? Right, our, our quest here. First time of job, find Yum Yum. Reward is a stamp and 50 XP. Main quest. Shop quest. Resident quest. Active quest. There's a lot of quests. That's we can change equipment. Oh no, accessories. We can just equip accessories. That's all. This is backpack, I'm guessing. Resource bag. Storehouse. Achievements. And let's keep going. Oh wow, I've gotten more powerful since leveling up. What's this? Hey, we found uh, the cat. A cat? Yes, but what breed is it? Looks like a ragdoll cat. Or a Persian cat. Small, white, fluffy, cute. Yep. You must be Yum Yum. <coughs> yum Yum. Who's a good kitty, eh? Nothing to be afraid of. Please don't run away. <laughs> that's that's not how you hold a cat. You're like <laughs> This is like a hold up, like in Metal Gear. Gotcha. Meow. What's a little angel like you doing in a place like this, eh? Let's get you back to your family, shall we? I'm back. Look who I found. Yum yum! Alright, time to give me my stamp, girl. I was wor so worried about you, dummy. Cut her some slack, yeah? She had a bit of a stare and ran off into the woods, that's all. A scare? Oh no, I'm sorry, yum yum. At least you're not hurt. Don't go wandering off no more, okay? Thank you so, you so much, CJ. As promised, here's my stamp. Why, thank you! Hey, our first stamp. One stamp down. Plenty more to go. Hey, Priya, you don't happen to know anyone else who might need some help, do you? Sure do. Really? Who's next then? Well, don't tell me I have to fill up the whole stamp. Like, it looks like there's about 30 stamps to collect. My dad. Our house all got... Our house got all messed up in that big quake three months ago. That's been trying to fix it, but has never has enough wood. Hmm. Next quest. 
gather more wood. Do you think you can help him, CJ? Of course. Leave it to me. Got to fill up this stamp card so I can get my explorer's license, you see. Can't expect it to stamp itself, can I? Story is a bit basic here at the moment. I'm hoping it will expand later on. You're the best, CJ. So where is your dad anyway? We live just over there, in the res residential district. Got it. Bye for now, Bria. Bye. Okay. Let's go and find her dad. Our first stamp. Got a 50 XP as well. Leveling up as your party accumulates experience, their level and stats will increase. Experience is gained by completing quests and defeating monsters, enemies inside dungeons. Got an achievement as well. Plenty more to go, definitely. Right, off to get our. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no. Nothing yet. Off to see her dad. The residential district. Lifelong residents of New Navarre have their homes in this part of town. Actimel Isha also calls this place home. Let's see options. Game settings. Oh, okay, it's just the normal stuff. Let's find the dad. This should be the dad, the only guy here. Excuse me, don't suppose you're Priya's dad, are you? I am? And who might you be? Another adventurer looking for treasure? Yep, I'm CJ. Nice to meet you. I'm Ganesh. How exactly do you know my Priya then? We just met in the plaza. I helped her to track down Yum Yum. Is that so? Very kind of you. So what brings you here to me? I'm here to gather more wood for you, Ganesh. Priya said you've been having some trouble rebuilding your home after that big quake. Thought I'd come by and lend a hand. I see. And I suppose you're collecting stamps, eh? Yep, I've got one net for now. So if there's anything you need help with, I'm your girl. I suppose I do have a small job you could take care of. You do? Why not? Acting Mayor's got the right idea as far as you adventurers go. If you're willing to work, who am I to turn you away? R right, <laughs> so what's the job? I need you to gather some wood for the repairs on my house. You have to venture out to the great forest outside the town. That's all? No problem. I'll go myself, but since the it's got, it's that, it's, I'll go myself, but since it's that occasion, I've heard all sorts of creatures have been since in the woods. Everyone here is far too scared to venture down and see for themselves. I've no idea that rooms, bro, has caused so much trouble. Oh, you'd be needing an axe then, unless you plan on taking the talk, unless you plan on talk, on talking the trees into coming down. Here, take this old one. Thanks, I'll be back in a bit. Take care. Right, so we've got a level 1 axe. With this item you can cut down trees and forests and elsewhere to obtain wood. As you level up your axe, you'll increase the variations of wood you can acquire. Healing potion level 1 received. Consumable items like potions and bombs are kept in your stove pack. If your stove pack is full, items will be held in your storehouse until you need them. Be sure to check your stove pack before adventuring out. Right, our stove pack has one one level one healing potion. More to the district area. The plaza. Residential district, residential district interior, town outskirts. Oh, oh, all right. I can quick travel with on this area. Oh, okay. Yeah, no doubt. I thought it was just um, described the area. 
Alright, nothing to see again. Invisible walls. Let's go to the Great Forest. Right, we're going to stop here for now. We've done our very first cat. Oh, okay, let's read this first. Once enemies have been slain and resources gathered, they will not be available again until you leave the dungeon. If you can't find the resources you need, head back to your base and try again after a good rest. Right, so there's limited resources and we need to go in and out of the dungeons. A bag designed to store resources gathered in the dungeons. Once you return to the city, its contents will be transferred to your storehouse. That's the resource bag. Once your resource bag is full, you'll be unable to gather any more. Remember though, you can always throw away resources you don't need. Can we sell them? So anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to stop it here now. Done our first first quest, get, finding Yum Yum the cat. And now we're going to be going to find some wood. For, for Priya's dad. First impression. Not too bad as I said before the trolls controls are a bit stiff um, graphics look really nice jumping animation looks a bit off for me but I can bear with that I'm waiting for the main game the 100 heroes uh, this is just a, like I said a prelude to give you some more backstory of the characters hopefully the missions will, will open up the story get better as it goes on but for now it's just fetch quest it seems Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video where we <laughs> where we'll gather some woods and hopefully progress more in the story. See you later, bye bye!